The University of Cambridge Department of Engineering is the largest department at the University of Cambridge and one of the leading centers of engineering in the world. The department's aim is to address the world's most pressing challenges with science and technology. To achieve this aim, the department collaborates with other disciplines, institutions, companies, and entrepreneurs and adopts an integrated approach to research and teaching. The main site is situated at Trumpington Street, to the south of the city centre of Cambridge. The department is the primary centre for engineering teaching and research activities in Cambridge. The department is currently headed by Professor Richard Praga. History In 1782, the Reverend Richard Jackson of Torrington, former Fellow of Trinity College, died leaving a substantial portion of his estate to endow a professorship of natural experimental philosophy. This became forerunner to the Professorship of Mechanism and Applied Mechanics, first held in 1875 by James Stewart. The first engineering workshop at Cambridge was constructed in 1878, a wooden hut 50 by 20 feet. The department now boasts several sites around Cambridge. The main buildings are located at Trumpington Street and Fen Causeway on the Scroop House site, where most of the undergraduate teaching in the engineering tripos is carried out. Various sections which could not easily be accommodated on the main site have moved to the university's West Cambridge site, including the Whittle Laboratory a turbomachinery laboratory, founded by Sir John Horlock, in 1973, the Geotechnical Centrifuge Laboratory, the Microelectronics Research Centre 1992, the Electrical Engineering Division Building and the Institute for Manufacturing IFM. A few of the smaller buildings on the old Addenbrook site, in Trumpington Street opposite the Scroop House site, have been used by the department from time to time. Currently, the Cambridge Programme for Sustainability Leadership is in the end building of that site, 1 Trumpington Street, having expanded and moved there under its previous name of Cambridge Programme for Industry in 1991. In 2016, the construction of the James Dyson Building was completed in front of the Baker Building, providing additional office space, and seminar, meeting rooms for use by the department. Over the course of the next ten years, the department plans to consolidate the Department of Engineering entirely on the West Cambridge site. Notable alumni and researchers John Baker, developer of the plasticity theory of design. Alec Browers, nanotechnology pioneer. Sir Christopher Sidney Cockerell, English engineer, best known as the inventor of the hovercraft. John Hopkinson, patented the three-wire system for the distribution of electrical power. Sir Charles Edward Inglis, under whose leadership the department became the largest in the university. Sir Bennett Melville Jones, who demonstrated the importance in streamlining in aircraft design. Ian Liddell, designer of the Millennium Dome. Charles Oatley, developer of one of the first commercial scanning electron microscopes. Nicholas Patrick, astronaut. W. E. W. Petter, aeronautical engineer, designer of Westland Lysander, English Electric Canberra and the Folland Nat. Harry Ricardo, major contributor to development of the internal combustion engine. Andrew Schofield, pioneer in centrifuge research. James Stewart, first true professor of engineering at Cambridge appointed in 1875. Constance Tipper, metallurgist, crystallographer and first woman to serve full-time as faculty in the department. Carol Vorderman, former Countdown host and mathematical television personality. Frank Whittle, inventor of the jet engine. Reverend Robert Willis, the first Cambridge professor to win an international reputation as a mechanical engineer. <laughs> Notable companies and projects founded by students and alumni Cambridge University Eco Racing, a student-run team which designs, builds and races solar electric vehicles. 
Innocent Drinks, best known for the Innocent Smoothie brand. Cambridge Consultants, an international technology development and consultancy company. Cambridge Scientific Instrument Company, first manufacturer of the scanning electron microscope. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Undergraduate Education. There are about 1,200 undergraduate students in the department at any time, with about 320 students admitted each year. The first two years are essentially the same for all students and aim to give a broad overview, covering mechanical and structural engineering, as well as materials, electrical and information engineering. From the third year, students are required to specialize, undertaking either the engineering tripos or manufacturing engineering tripos. In the engineering tripos, students specialize in one of nine engineering disciplines Aerospace and aerothermal engineering Bioengineering Civil, structural and environmental engineering Electrical and electronic engineering Electrical and information sciences Energy, sustainability and the environment Information and computer engineering instrumentation and control mechanical engineering meanwhile the manufacturing engineering tripos provides an integrated course in industrial engineering including both operations and management topic <laughs> <laughs> graduate education The Department of Engineering currently has about 190 faculty and PI status researchers, 300 postdoctoral researchers, and 850 graduate students. Postgraduate education in the consists of both taught courses and research degrees PhD, MPhil and MREs. The majority of research students study for a PhD degree while around 10% follow the one-year MPhil program. The department also has a number of Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council Centers for Doctoral Training which follow a 1 plus 3 year model where a 1 year MREs course is followed by a 3 year PhD. Full funding for 4 years is provided through these centers. In addition to the CDTs, the department has a limited number of EPSRC PhD studentships available for British and EU students. Topic. See also Engineering Glossary of Engineering Department of Engineering Science, University of Oxford <laughs>